Hey Libra, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you all have been here before. I appreciate you all. Hope you all are doing well. All right, Libra, this is going to be for anyone with Libra placement significant in their chart where you deem significant. Doesn't have to be your sun sign. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. These are going to be career and finance messages because guess what, y'all? It matters. Love is beautiful. I love love. I love being in love. And Lord knows I am in love. But the money. The money matters too. We have burnout, Libra. Oh, goodness. So why are you burned out this week? What's going on? It says, um, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, your dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So some of you could be working way too much to accomplish something and you're not taking care of your health. Spirit is saying tap in, tune in, focus, go to your doctor's appointments, keep your appointments, stay on top of your health. Don't forsake your health because guess what? Health is wealth. Money mean nothing if you ain't here to spend it. All right, Libra. Maybe take a break. Take a day off. We have the vine and the fence. I've never seen this before. It says, I set healthy boundaries. My inner self is supported by firm boundaries that protect me. I am the vine that grows to my highest height of the fence of healthy boundaries. I feel like this is even with yourself. You know, telling yourself when enough is enough, it's time to stop. I need to scale back. I need to sit down. I need to take a break. I need more rest. These cards are going to most likely resonate more if you have a um, business, but they can also resonate if you don't. We have broadcast on the air. Develop your unique voice and then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or a radio show. Are some of y'all thinking about starting a, a podcast? I think a podcast would be fun, especially with the right people. That would be a ball of fun. I might need to talk to some of my friends about doing something like that because I got some, some funny friends. That might, that might be an idea. This ain't even my read. I do have Libra in my chart though, but that might be a message that I need to tap into myself. Some of y'all might be considering doing something like that. Go for it. Let me tell y'all something. If you have any aspirations or dreams to do anything in the public eye, now is the time to do it. Most people are monetizing themselves. And I ain't talking about selling yourself now. <laughs> I mean, selling yourself in the intellectual sense, not the physical sense. Your intellectual property, your voice, your thoughts. Kind of like what I'm doing right here, you know. And I put this off for a long time, y'all. I went and looked in, I keep journals. And I went and looked in an old journal of mine. And I had intended to start a YouTube channel back in 2018 i did not start my youtube channel until the end of my first this is my second channel my first channel until the end of 20 like october of 2021 and um once i got it going i was like why did i put this off so this is just a message if you're putting that off if you have fears and reservations let it go because there's an audience out there for you i mean in a short amount of time i'm almost at 11,000 subscribers and i love my subbies i appreciate you all even if you're just a viewer i appreciate however you give to me i appreciate it because i have a grateful heart and so I know that this is a process and I'm loving the process. I'm loving, you know, the ebb and flow of everything and learning and making my mistakes. And, you know, even with the tarot, like really acclimating myself with it because it was not new to me, but it's not something I had mastered. And yet it's starting to become something that's so crystal clear to me. And so just go for it and work, work with what you have. Start where you are with what you have. I always have to say that because um, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't start. Oh, I got to get this. I need a camera. Oh, I need use your phone if you have to. Sit in your living room with your friends. Set, make it look nice, though. You know what I'm saying? Presentation matters, but set yourself up a little space. Put up a curtain and hide stuff that you want to hide if you need to and set it up real nice and invite your friends over maybe once a week. Y'all sit down and have girl talk, guy talk, talk, or even a mixture of the two genders. Sit down and have a conversation about what's going on in the world in a healthy dialogue. This may be something that, that you need to do here. We have You Are Safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. So Spirit wants you to know that you are protected right now if you may be concerned about that. That might mean something to some of you. It will be different for everyone, right? Okay, Libra, let's see. Yeah, y'all, start your podcast if that's something you're thinking about. We have Lord Ganesh. And this is Infinite Abundance. Beautiful. 
Um, it says obstacles are being removed and spiritual support and connections are increasing. Beautiful. You've been facing some challenges lately in your money, in your work, in your business. It's, it's being fixed. It's being um, remedied for you right now. Obstacles are being removed here. Maybe cancer season will really um, be when you see this happen for yourself. Between Taurus and cancer season. Just remember I said that. We have winter. And it says take care of your needs. I feel like by winter time you're going to see like your life is going to be in total 180. By winter of 2023. It's going to look different than winter of 2022. Okay. But I feel spring and summer being very important for you. We have Walt Disney. Um, it says, is it cute? Does it sing? That's the way you make cha-ching. Pull at heartstrings. Hold, her, why can I talk? Pull at heartstrings. Hold the purse strings. Mm, the happiest place on earth charges admission. So look, this is saying, be, be imaginative, kind of childlike. Have fun, right? Especially if you're doing the podcast, have your fun. But still be about your business. Monetize that. Monetize fun. Monetize fun is what that's saying. Some of you can live in Florida. Maybe you have a, a trip planned to Disneyland. Is it Disneyland or Disney World? I can't. I get them mixed up all the time. Disney World. It's Disney World. Disneyland is in California, right? I don't know. Y'all know Disney World. Yeah, Disney World is in Florida. I haven't been there in eons. We have uh, Kachinas. Somebody name. Somebody's name could be something like that because we have Kaching, Chaching, and then we have Kachinas. Somebody's name could be like Tina, Sheena. I have a cousin named Sheena. Um, Katrina, even. Something with the I-N-A at the end. Lena, any any kind of name. Um, so we have Lucky and Pablo Indian cultures. Traditional and Pablo Indian re uh, religions in the southwest of the North America. I gotta slow down. Why am I stumbling over my words? I don't like that. These are... What is this? Hopi figures symbolize nature spirits that connect humans with the spirit world. Made from the root of the cottonwood tree, which can find water in the driest climate. The Kachina figures visit the village for the first half of the year. And they there are over 200 different types of Kachina. And each can use its individual powers for human good. The sun-faced Kachina, for example, brings warmth and a positive future. So you got warmth and a positive future coming in. We have how to capture luck. Protect your home and attract good fortune by welcoming in a kachina. So this is what a kachina is, y'all. I'm sure y'all have seen those before. I never knew what they were called. That's if you're into that kind of thing. If not, disregard it. Disregard it. It ain't for you. People got to want to take only what's for them. I say it every time. <laughs> we have study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Some of you could be going back to school. Maybe you need to do some research if you're trying to start this podcast. Do your due diligence on whatever it is that you're trying to start here. Okay. I'm so happy y'all. The last reading. Oh my God. I'm so tired of talking. <laughs> Partnership. Cancer Gemini energy. So we have allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and a person who brings needed skills and resources. Okay. So some assistance is coming in for you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I want to shuffle these three times, pull the three cards on the top, but I will flip them over because I don't want to be biased and influenced by whatever I see on the top. So I want to go with what I can't see. That's why I do that. If y'all ever see me, when y'all see me flip the cards, that's my strategy, okay? Okay, one more shuffle. What is it that Libra needs to know? We have Page of Swords. This is Libra Christ, Gemini Energy. Using talent and skill from an early age. Hmm. Um, Who just had that? Was it Leo? Virgo? I don't know. You can have those placements. Um, it says communication, information jobs, telesales, and spying. Well... This says using talent and skill from an early age. And then we have Walt Disney here. Something Y'all could be doing something fun. Just having fun or something something that makes you feel imaginative and like a child. 
I don't know. But anyway, it says a great idea brings financial success, delays in financial news. Follow your curiosity to the pot of gold. Again, you got to be childlike. You got to be childlike. We have activism and humanitarianism. Sag Sagittarius or Aquarius energy. You can have those placements. So you may want to work with children or animals. I just feel something that you wanted to do maybe since you were a child and either Leo or Virgo had that same energy. Uh, we have out of stock, inventory selling like hotcakes, sold out, doing well. So you're going to be doing well. Abundance is coming in. Success if you have this kind of business where you keep inventory or, or stock. Let's grab some tarot to see what this is saying. What is the page of swords here for? The King of Wands. It says using using your talent from an early age. Some of you may have an older masculine fire sign who's going to help you. I'm going to I'm going to um I'm going to look up when was Walt Disney born. I'm not going to do it now. Maybe when I edit out insert it. If not, maybe I'll even pin a comment. Or maybe I won't do any of that because I got a lot of editing to do. But if Walt Disney is a fire sign, this would really blow my mind because this is kind of strange what I'm picking up here. Somebody is coming in to help you. A teacher, a creative teacher here. A Leo or Aries or Sagittarius who could be a businessman, a business owner, a boss. A leader. Someone, someone very bold and charming. An entrepreneur. This person has a big personality, so you will know. I'm so curious to know what Walt Disney is. He's probably not a fire sign. He might be. We'll see. What is activism and humanitarianism? And look at this seven of wands. Some of y'all are very protective. You could have like a defense job, whether that be in the military or whether that be in, um, you do some kind of protection, security work, police work, something like that. I don't know. That's Leo energy. What is out of stock here for? The four of cups. Are y'all bored? Spirit is saying don't miss an opportunity by being out of stock. You know, it's a it's a good thing to be out of stock, right? Because that means that you sold out. But Spirit is also saying don't miss an opportunity here with people who may have an interest in whatever it is you sell. Stay on top of your inventory is essentially what I'm saying. Knight of Wands. Enthusiasm here. Be courageous. Be free-spirited. Be impulsive. Keep your drive up. You know, dare to be different if you need to be. That's Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like a fire sign may be helping you all soon. When it said that the help is coming from a much needed source here. It says that you are receiving help from heaven and a person who brings much needed skills and resources. Could be this fire sign that I'm picking up here. But it could also be a water sign. It's going to be one or the other, y'all. Those are your messages. Let me go. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Your advice. We have God is in charge. So stop worrying. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation. Give it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So if you're stressing, if you're worried, spirit is saying no. Some of you could be dog owners. You could have like a um a German shepherd or what are the, the dogs that look like wolves? Those kind of dogs. I think it is. Is that called a German Shepherd? I think it is. I'm not I'm not big on it, so I don't know. But I think it is. I think it's called a German Shepherd. There may be other dogs that look that way as well. You can even have like a golden retriever. I don't know if people still get those. <laughs> you know, and in the black community, even dogs get played out. We are so funny. You still got that kind of dog that that dog ain't in style no more. <laughs> We, so, we are so so fashion forward and so progressive that we just we things get played out with us that, that shouldn't get played out. You know how a dog gonna go out of style? How a breed of dog <laughs> gonna go out of style? It's like, oh my god, are you still you remember when Snoop first came out? They had the Dobermans. They said Snoop looked like a Doberman. My father used to have a Doberman named Ebony when I was a child, and I, I used to like Ebony. Ebony liked me too. She was very strong. I used to try to walk her and she was really walking me. Um, and so, yeah, some <laughs> some, some of the um, music videos back in those days, they would have German Shepherds, including Snoop Dogg's videos. 
And he, I ain't seen a, not a German Shepherd, a, a Doberman. I haven't seen a Doberman in so long. I'm like, are they extinct? What happened to them? I think they're pretty cool. They're very strong. They don't look as strong as they really are. All right, y'all. So those are your messages. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please leave her.